The final thing that you need to do when creating a post is to add the finishing touch of media. Now with WordPress, most people are going to be adding images and we can definitely do that and that's what I'll show you in this video. But just know that you can also add things like audio and video and you can even do cool things like an Animoto um, slideshow that you can add into a page. But for right now, I'm going to show you the most popular, which is adding images. So if we look at this page right now, it's pretty plain when we see it in terms of all the real estate items that will be listed here. And we want to have an image that shows the property right when we click on real estate and we're going to add that into navigation. We want to be able to see the property kind of like if we go to auctions, we want it to kind of look like this. Now, as you can see, there's a difference between these two images. This is what we call a featured image. And if you set the featured image, it's going to look like this. If you don't set a featured image, it's going to choose whatever the first image is in your post. For instance, this one. And this one doesn't look so great because it's originally meant to be a portrait orientation and it's being forced into landscape. And so it kind of skews it and makes it look a little bit wonky. So we're going to go ahead and set, let's see, we're going to go ahead and set a featured image for this property and then when we go into the property we might want to have some pictures of different views in the property and we might want to have our large flyer in here so that's what we're going to do. Now before you add any, any images there's a couple things you need to know about images on the web. First of all if you're taking a pic picture with a new digital camera um, well one of the newer ones where it takes massive pictures you don't want to put those size pictures on the web because it's really hard for people to see and they take a long time to download. So you need to do two things to every image before you put it online. First, you need to resize it. And if you have something like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, then there are web saving options in those programs that will help you to make your picture smaller. A free service online is called webresizer.com. And this is where you can take an image and you're not necessarily cropping it, though you can, but you're going to reduce the overall image size and therefore it's a much smaller file size and easier for people to download. If you need to edit a photo and you don't have Photoshop, then you can go to Photoshop Express, which is a free account, and you can do things like touch things up, change the hue and saturation, etc. And the second thing you need to do for every image is when it comes to online images, we have certain rules for saving. You can't use capital letters and you can't have spaces or special characters. Now if you do want spaces such as in this image, the best kind of space, you can do an underscore, but the best kind of space is using a dash and this is because the computer recognizes that a dash indicates a split between two words. So when it's looking for things or when search engines are looking for thing, things, it can recognize Cambridge as a word and property as a word. If you have an underscore between them, then it thinks the whole world word is Cambridge underscore property, and it doesn't necessarily know what that means because that's not what we would consider an official word. So let's go ahead and change all these so that we're using proper naming conventions. And there we go. So let's get into adding images. The first thing we're going to do is add our big flyer that we have, which is what we just renamed here. We're going to go to Upload or Insert Media, so we'll click on that. And if you already have the media in your media library, then you can come in here and choose it from there. Um, if you have it from somebody else's website, maybe a logo and you want to add it in here, you can do it that way. But for right now, we're just going to add from our computer. So I'll select the file and I'll find my image. I'm going to click open and then it's going to ask you a couple questions about this image and you have to fill out at least a few of these. So right now this is the title and this helps you to find it in the media library. Alternate text is if somebody has vision problems or if they've disabled images on their computer for some reason then this is descriptive text. So I can say 417, Cam oops, 417 Cambridge property flyer. So you can add a caption and description if you want to, but I, I don't usually do that. 
and then you can tell it whether you want it to be aligned so you can choose left align that and it'll show you that it'll wrap words around it right now we're just going to do none and I'm going to go ahead and make it full size and that means it's going to be 800 by 961 pixels now you can do medium size but it's going to make it pretty small but if you go ahead and, and resize your image then these options are um, will become available to you but it's if it's a super massive image you're going to have problems here so right now it is resized so it's good and I can also choose to use this picture this picture as a featured image but I don't like that image so I'm, I'm going to leave that alone so I'll go ahead and insert into post and there it is and let's say I want to add a couple of more photos so that they can see some of the features I'm going to go ahead and make it consistent with my headings and then this is where I can add thumbnails that open up into larger photos in case they're interested so I'm going to go ahead and select files and I'll do the bedroom and I'll call this master bedroom and this one I'm going to choose thumbnail and I'll do insert into post and I can do one more and we'll do the kitchen and thumbnail and insert into post now if any of those images you wanted as a featured image it would be okay but I'm also going to do set featured image here and I'm going to just select the picture of the actual front and I'll call this 417 Cambridge and the more you can get that in there it's going to help with search engine results so go ahead and do use as featured image and then you can insert it into post if you want or you can just save all changes so let's go ahead and close that and now that'll be the featured image so let's go ahead and update this and we're gonna refresh and now we see the big flyer and we see more photos and when they click on one of the photos it's gonna take them to a larger image so that way they're not having to download all those large photos and take up a lot of space but if they are interested they can click and see more and you might want to put a little direction that says click the thumbnail to view a larger image but let's go ahead and see what it looks like oops not that way what it will look like when we add the navigation so if you have three or four properties this featured image allows them to see at a glance if it's something they want to look into more so then they can click read more and they can get more information here so that's the basics of adding media you can also when you're in WordPress go into your media library and this is where you might have a ton of pictures after a while and you want to get rid of some things like I know the Roth and and um, let's see the Davy sale those are just used as, as examples and I know that those auctions have passed so you can definitely come in here and delete these permanently or click each one of these and then go up to delete wherever that is bulk actions delete permanently okay um, but be careful when you do that because if you delete these pictures they're going to be deleted from your website but the post that has to do with like the Roth auction will still be up there so you need to make sure to go in to delete that post as well so if you wanted to add a video it's the same thing of adding the media and giving it different descriptions and whatnot um, but you do want to add as many images as you can because people tend to be a lot more visual so that'll help them to kind of make a decision whether they want to work with you or not.